I think about this I life I cannot stop laughing no look at my nails y'all we better get it done I'm doing some manual work I can't do it um so it's cafeteria lab with Ramona indefatigable heights of course Ramona indefatigable heights indefatigable timeless tireless unstoppable coming going growing yes yes to the top to the top yeah so I spent a couple days this week watching one more chance with uh Kamal Chance whatever his damn last name is Kamal Chance real chance yeah him real chance of love a lot of people don't know it because that was from the I love New York days right so it was a spin-off from I love New York I love New York was looking for um which was a spin-off from i love flavor flav a flavor of love so we got flavor of love and new york came on new york tiffany pollard came on flavor of love and um to me she i don't know she ain't win but she won <laughs> in every other way she she was everything i love her she's like my favorite reality star she is the queen she paved the way for a lot of these people and i love her to death anyway so she had her own show looking for love and then chance came on her show looking for love then he got his own show looking for love and it's just been spin-off after spin-off or whatever so child Zeus Network, as Zeus Network done gave Chance another chance to find love. I don't know why Zeus didn't promote this. Like, I don't see nobody talking about it. I don't know why. I mean, it was last year. I just watched the whole episode, the whole season reunion and everything this weekend. I finished yesterday, so I have to bring it to you because September, the new season is coming. And I shall be watching it. I will not be waiting for no days to pass. I shall be watching that on night that it drops. Okay? Brr. Anyway, so. Chance is in the house. They bring these women into the house. This is my favorite. This, 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 they said this is the number one Zeus um, reality show. And I can see why. This one is my favorite. And I that's why I wanted to talk about it like this. Like, bring it to you because it was well put together. It's well edited. Whoever is editing, whoever edited One More Chance needs to get editing for all of the reality shows that Zeus is doing. Um, I know it was it would be the best because Chance has already had chances at love. So he knows the idea. Um, he's done this before. So he has the experience. Um, Jocelyn has done reality before, but she didn't have her own show like the way how Zeus presented her in this, um, in the cabaret. And the baddies had the Bad Girls Club, but it was never like their own show, like a reality show, like how Chance knows what he's looking for and he knows how to bring it. And he brings the horses and the whole stallionary effect and, you know, everything, the, 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 the ranch and, you know, all that. He's always been like, whoever they got it from, VH1 um, started these um, reality, they were working for VH1. So they have like that good good creative direction and the content c creating and everything that it takes so i know they there is already the idea in his head this reality show is well put together on zeus um a, a bunch of women come into the house as is is like it's the bachelor it's ray j and ray j is doing it but i don't know i know chance already had the chances of love so he knows how to put his thing into perspective all right the concept and the idea of what he's looking for and how he wants to present it as well um this show right here right so they bring the women into the house a bunch of women into the house <laughs> excuse me which is always the premise 
in a bachelor's type, looking for love type, whatever house type situation, reality show we got going on. So we have a bunch of women coming into the house and one mangina. <laughs> Delicious. Um, I'm laughing as I'm starting because I needed to know everybody's name coming into my um review. And so I just watched the trailer. I didn't watch the trailer before the show. I just started watching the show. The trailer is funny as hell. Everything about the show is funny as hell. This shit had me laughing. Like, I was going through my little uh thing and... Oh my God, my daughter was like, Mommy, I'm just going to watch one episode with you. Come, let's watch episode one. Because she's like the one who brings me into the reality. Like sometimes, because you know, I, I I like my Real Housewives of Potomac and Atlanta and all that. But the she likes the baddies and the, you know, the chance. And you know, I'm the YouTube blogger, so I get to bring it to you. So, um, yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> yes. So, um, she said, Mommy, I'm going to watch one episode with you of um, One More Chance, and then you on your own. So, I'm like, I, yes, girl. So, I decided to watch it. I sat down. I, I laughed so hard. Like, it took all my problems away. <laughs> like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, I literally died laughing. Chance is funny as hell. His brother is funny as hell. They be doing the girls so bad. And Mangina is funny as hell. Like, I know what I want for season two. I know what I'm looking for. I know what I'm looking for all together. Zeus, we need to talk because I'm not playing. Okay? Good. All right. So, um, the whole season started out with this argument between Mangina, which is the trans in the house. So, like, my friend told me about this um, one more chance last year because this was came out in 2020 during the pandemic, right? My friend already watched it. And she was telling me about it, but I didn't catch it. Like, for me, certain times, like, I just don't like certain things. So I'm just like, if I don't see it, that's why my daughter's like, Mom, we're going to watch one episode and then you on your own. That's what she does with me with, like, whatever she likes, whatever movies she's trying to bring to me. She's like, oh, I'm just going to watch one episode. Like, Mom, sit down and let's watch this. I'm just like, oh, okay. I'm not going to pull it up by myself, literally, or whatever. But now that I've watched one more chance, I'm waiting for season two. And it starts September, so, you know, I had to bring it to you now so y'all could go watch it and you could catch it. And then you could, you know, let me know below what you think about one more chance. It was a lot of contra controversy surrounding this damn uh, uh, reality show because they had a transgender in there. And Chance is looking for love and nobody could understand why. Well, he's a transgender, but he represents as a he's a man that represents as a woman he came to the show as a woman so you know that's like trans representing or something so everybody was like up in arms that's why but i love it like now that i've seen it i'm just like okay i know what i want us to do so um you had a yodel of the yodel of the who you know her and yummy the winner of the show yummy is a beautiful girl she's sweet she's sexy she's young she's beautiful she's 21 you know they're both 21 youngy yummy and um yodel are 21 they're like the young girls in the house then you had cheeks cheeks she was very young she she looked a little like um a little like butch like beautiful butch you know like beautiful beautiful butch yeah that's how she represented me. I don't think none of these women came for Chance because none of them don't know Chance. Chance is not in their age group. Like, I don't think they knew anything about him. They just come to be on TV and it was crazy. Like, so then you had um this one believable. She, she, she just got a sharp chin. I don't know. We never got to the bottom if she was a man or woman. She talked like, hello. And Chance is like, can you scream? She's like, hey. And they're like, no, you, even, even Mangina is looking like, mm -mm, something about her. Mangina said, mm -mm, she look good and everything, but something about her chin, like, and Mangina is a damn man, so we looking like, everybody looking like, they done checked her, like, <sighs> she gonna talk about something, she spent the night with Chance, Chance talking about something, no, we ain't spent no night together, I would do a little feel, but I, you know, we ain't go too deep or whatever. <laughs> um, you had one Rasta girl, um. She's uh one kind of the what kind of type female. Then you had um secret. She looked like Gabrielle Union, really pretty, but just like you could tell that she wasn't there for chance because she was just she came in like a school teacher. I came in like a ray of hope. Yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> then you had snacks, roly poly snacks, uh, meal, uh, Cheetos, uh. 
uh, Funyuns, uh, 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 Snicker Pack, uh, Tootsie Roll. <laughs> she my fave. She coming back for season two. Go catch the tea and you'll be able to see her coming in September. I'm excited for the, um, games. Okay, so from the first night games came, like, season, like, episode one, they was doing, like, Chance, he ain't, like, play. He just, let, like, let them have it. He said whatever the hell he feel like. He's like, oh, yeah, games, um, smell like a river, the fish, the sea. I don't know. He was giving it to her. Then she came, like, she came, like, doing her TikTok. Like, whatever TikTok challenges that she been famous for, like, on her, in her social media. Excuse me. She came trying to do that. And she was doing it to Chance. And she was, like, beating him up. Like, like taking her body and, like, beating him with it. And doing, like, the some ch challenge where she had to jump down on it. And, like... It was a lot. And you could tell he wasn't feeling it. And he wasn't feeling her. And then she represent as like. Beautiful butch. She represent as beautiful butch too. <laughs> like. You could just tell they not. Swinging the, the, like his way. They are swinging the other way. I don't know. You had this one crazy girl. Her name Special K. Special K wanted her body done. She came. She said she's she straight. Gay. But she came looking for love. Because. She wanted to get her body done, so she needed that Zeus check so she could go do her body, and she did get her body done, and the body do look good. Um, She had a beef with the girl Yummy because when she came into the house, she wanted to be friends with Yummy, and Yummy was like, okay, cool, but Yummy was like a Mangina. Mangina is the trans, and um, the girls in the house were, like, beefing with Mangina because they felt like Mangina shouldn't be there, like... He was, Mangina was taking away an opportunity. To, no, Mangina is here to bring the drama and bring something to the thing that's going to have us excited so we can keep watching. Like, I was mad when Mangina got sent home. I don't give a shit. I don't care. Like, I would have picked Mangina over your life. <laughs> I would have picked Mangina over She-Ra. Because She-Ra is not, was not there for chance. And She-Ra, Mangina should wait a little bit longer. I'm sorry. Mangina should have been the last four. I don't give a shit. Like, I strongly believe that. Like, Chance ain't got to be gay. Mangina should have been there till the last four or the last five. He should have been right up to the top, giving us that drama. So the next time I see Mangina on the reality show, I need him to be just a little bit more polished. I understand what Jocelyn and all of them were saying in the reunion, talking about, you know, he's rough and everything. You know, that that's how he came. And his, uh, in the little trailer, you see him saying, yeah, delicious. Yeah, D, yeah, yeah, you know, so... He just needs to be a little bit more polished when he represents as a woman and, you know, tone his voice all the way down. Because when um, Yummy and uh, Special K got on in that big fight, girl, Special K throwing them blows that ain't hitting nothing. Special K ain't hit one blow. She ain't connect with Yummy none tall. Yummy was kicking her and giving it to her. That was what needed to be done because she's crazy and I don't know what her problem was. Um... She jumped up talking about she want to argue with Mangina too. Mangina was like, yeah, you're yeah. like, man, the real man came out and it was over. I'm done. Um, She's crazy. Special K. She went outside. She was like, Chance, Chance, Chance. She's like, yeah, you know, I would do all these things for you, but I got a plane to catch. And this, that, and the third, and the crazy started coming out. And he was just like, okay, um. Special K, it's time for you to go. Like, your time is up, sis. Good night. Uh, let me see who else. Uh, Cheeks. Cheeks. I just felt like Cheeks wasn't there for chance because she kept jumping in everybody's fight. Like, you could tell she was jumping in everybody's fight because she was putting her hair up. She was getting herself together. I don't know if she was fighting for Yodla. She was fighting for Yummy. She fighting for everybody. I'm just like, well, when you gonna fight for chance? Like, Put your, put, put, you know what I'm saying? Put, put, put your boxing gloves on and get in the room with Chance and let's see a little bit more of that. Them girls wasn't doing that. Them girls was not doing that. They was not doing the do, you know, back in the day with Flavor of Love. Like, everybody was in the room with, with, with Flavor Flav. Everybody was in the room with Flavor Flav. Everybody was going to his room at night. Everybody was spending the night with him. Everybody was getting, Flavor Flav was getting the love, okay? I don't know what's going on. These young girls, they ain't got time for that. I think some of them was too young. You cannot go to 21-year-old and 22-year-old if he's, like, whatever his age is. Like, you got to put it at least a little bit, like... Where they gonna be able to like do what need to be done? Nobody was doing what needed to be done because ain't nobody seemed like they was interested. It was 
it was it was that part was a mess. Um, Chance and Mike are funny as hell. The confessionals was everything. The way they edit the confessionals, the way they edit the damn episodes, everything was on point. It's a hundred percent. I give it that. I love it. I want to see more of it. Um, New York, Tiffany Pollard made an appearance on there. Um, she was good in her appearance. Um, Jocelyn and Jonisha were doing the reunion. The reunion was funny. Like, it wasn't really, like, about the fights or whatever. But Snacks was really giving it to them. She really funny. I love her. Like, I need to see more of her. Like, she's funny. Like, she does what needs to be done to give us the laugh. She kept pulling them snacks out with New York. It was just coming out of her chest. She had a damn uh, foot long in her damn chest. A damn banana. It was it was everything. It was everything. That shit had me funny. Die laughing. Made my day. Put me in a good mood. Like, whatever you call it, it did it for me. One more chance d does it for me. So, I'm excited to see what episode two is going to be like. Um, Season two is going to be like. So, now that I did date, I want to talk. The Plasticas, there was a waste of time. Um, they came together, but they wasn't doing nothing. Um, Grandmama, Grandmama, I actually want to see her in more, um, things, doing more things. Because I was, just, like, this is what I want to say. As this network. So, guys, as this network is black-owned, which is awesome. They're putting black people on TV. They're putting black people before us. They're hiring black people. Um, yeah, some of the, um, some of the, uh, things are like you know negative or whatever because that's what you know the audience likes and that's what you know we're looking for we're looking for fights we're looking for a little bit of nudity we're looking for you know you know you know strippers and you know shit like you know stuff like they but they're hiring black people and they're giving them jobs and they're paying them when i saw jocelyn's cabaret i didn't like how the woman were represented in Jocelyn's cabaret as far as how they put the women together throughout the season. I didn't like it in baddies either, like the hair and makeup. In One More Chance, the ladies were changing their hair. They were doing their hair, their makeup, their face were looking pretty. You know, their outfits was looking, you know, okay. They was putting themselves together, the ones who was trying. Um, I ain't talking about, I think her name was, oh, B2B. B2B was a whole um, um, woman representing as a man. Come with a do-rag. <laughs> she never about to brush her ear. She didn't do nothing to herself. She just come as a man. And represents and she had look for chads. She can't even walk in the high heel shoes. And you can't just tell, hey, yo, this shit funny, bruh. Like, bruh, this shit funny as hell. Like, you gotta go watch it. It's funny. It's a little bit, uh, it might be a little bit strong. <laughs> but it's funny. Um... Every time I think about it, it's funny. Like, I'm, I would watch the whole season again. And again, just like for the funny moments, because they are so many. So that's why I want you to catch that tea. Um, this, what I'm going to need is, I'm going to need, I love New York, Tiffany Pollard in her own reality, um, reality show. I don't want to see her looking for love, because she's too old for that. I want to see you give her a bag while you give her a bag. I want to see her chasing the bag while she's getting the bait. I want to see her, um, now follow me. I want to see her, um, with a clothing line, a shoe line, um, a jewelry line, a perfume line, something. And she has, she's looking for an assistant. Okay. Um, someone to come in and be her personal assistant while she does what she's doing. Like the apprentice type, type of deal. And I think she'll play that really well. And I want to see her. So that way you could have like all types of demographic of people come into the house. That's going to be vying to be New York's personal assistant. Um, then you could have the grandmamas. You could have the trans. You could have the sis. You could have whatever it is. And everybody comes into the house and you have that dynamic where, you know, the, 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 the trans and the cisgenders are not going to fight. But, like, trans can fight trans if they want to or whatever it is. Like, that's just how it is. Like, like that's how it is. Like, you can have anybody in the house and it don't be no disparity or, like, why is this person here because, you know, is she gay or what? No, it's it's a job. Everybody, anybody could come for the job. If we're not doing that, then we should be doing um, New York's Charm School, 
where she's taking like the woman from season one of um, Chance of Love as they did on Flavor of Love. If they could take the woman from One More Chance and have New York take them through etiquette school and teach them how to be like her. Right? A boss bitch, a bad bitch, like how to like hold it down like her. Like, you know, how to be polished, you know, where she is now versus where she started out with. But she's always been that person to carry herself like that. Like, yeah. So either that or that would be good for me. I don't want to see her looking for love. I don't want to, like, I don't think that's, a, that's the funniest way. When I seen her do the reality show in Atlanta that she did with the Claudia Jordan and the other four people that I think it was with Laura Govine and all of that, that was really funny. And I really loved her in that. And I like that. I just have to be her looking for love. And when she did the uh, the Haunted House show, that was really good. So I want to see her on Zeus Network in her own reality show, but bring it to me good. Don't give me nothing played out. So I could be excited. And then I could do the reunion for that. I'm just going to put, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a be sending. Guys, um, you could go on Zeus Network and they have opportunities on Zeus Network. When they're, film, when they're filming for their shows, they are actually on Zeus Network telling you that you can put your application in. So I'm going to be putting my application in for one of these hosting gigs. And I'm just letting y'all know from now, you're going to get, you'll be hearing from me. Just saying. Coffee Tier Library should be hearing from me. <laughs> um, I need Nene Leaks, um, uh reality show. I know you, I know Nene knows how to bring it. So I know that when you bring it, like whatever storyline you're going to bring Nene with is going to be fabulous and fantastic. I don't want to see no spitting. I don't want to see no throwing shit. I want her to be a boss. I need to see her as a boss. Um, um, there's some tea right now, like we're praying really right now for Greg Leaks because there, um, we did receive news that Greg is sick and not doing too well right now. So we're praying for him and praying back his strength and his health and all these things and trying to keep, um, the family in our prayers. Um, so them two people, I definitely need their reality shows to come quickly. Zeus. Um, also, um, that's basically it for now for me that I know that I definitely would want to see on my um my Zeus network uh tv um anybody else that i want to see i would definitely come back and tell you but those people are perfect for now like just those two on like bring in bring them in bring them in i don't want to see new york looking for love like debasing herself or anything with these people i want to see her getting the bag i want you to give her the bag while she gets the bag like she has to have a business or something like she's 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 a seasoned woman now you know what i mean yeah so guys it's been great talking to you today we don't talked about the baddies atl reunion we don't talk about um the real housewives of potomac and we also talked about one more chance with um uh, real chance well not real chance chance kamal chance whatever his last name is stallionaire from real chance of love that we know from so many different um works that he's done he was he's awesome like really was really good i i love it i love the opportunity that zeus is given um given to these women um as i said we are seeing a definitely um varied uh demographic of people coming in and um you know it brings the excitement it drives the ratings and everything and we're excited i'm excited to see what chance of uh, one more chance is gonna be um season two and I'm excited to see whatever, what else this network is going to roll out for us. So you've been here with Cafeteer Labrish. I want to thank you guys for watching with me. I want to thank you for your energy. I want to thank you for your time. I want to tell you that um, I appreciate you very much. Um, we're going to be doing the Kelly Rowland. So we are fast approaching the 1,000 subs. And I, I'm going to have a little party once we hit the 1,000 subs. So And I'm going to... My first live that I'm going to do on my YouTube... Um, it's going to be my Kelly Rowland live. So I'm preparing for that right now. When I finish with this, I'm going to go finish reading the Kelly Rowland book that I'm reading. Um, well, the book that I'm reading as a source for the Kelly Rowland, uh, part two episode that I'm going to be bringing. Um, so I'll be bringing that to you hopefully by this weekend. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, um, guys. And also don't forget to, um, watch with us cafeteria lavish we're coming with so many great things i'm in the process of changing some things in my life so when those things change and when those changes occur you'll be able to see a little bit more of me we'll be able to do more videos we'll be having more peace i'm in a moment of 
turmoil and so i'm trying to get my piece back together so that i'm able to bring you these videos because i know i'm a little bit late but um late but she on time she late but she on time that's all i gotta say she she'll be on time one day she always late she she have a timing problem she's trying to work on it because she want to be on season and on time but she just got to work on her uh her uh her alarm <laughs> i love you guys thank you for your support thank you for logging on thank you for listening thank you for all of your views your likes your comments and your shares i really appreciate you thank you for taking me to that first marker i'm excited to get there 1000 subs we are excited we're gonna have balloons we're gonna have cake it's gonna be awesome I love you once more. Thank you for watching Coffee to Your Labyrinth and have a great night. Good night.